and welcome back to all of fabric five where isn't this just the most disgusting thing you've ever seen <laughs> and this this also isn't great uh, i ran out of the stuff to make more cables so I, I couldn't put it in a nice place and i couldn't even connect all of these things but i managed to do the crafting i needed to do so now we can get rid of this and pretend that it never happened never saw how terrible that got perfect the perfect crime so uh, what we're going to be doing today is a little bit of factory tidying up um it's kind of still a huge mess i guess i should take these uh, and the entire point of moving was to not have a giant mess and so far i've made a giant mess everywhere absolutely everywhere uh, but uh, expected, expected. So we're going to get rid of this whole crystal growth accelerator thing and instead make a crystal growth chamber. Now we should be able to automate this uh, pretty easily. We could put acceleration cards in there. I don't think we will. We'll just set the recipes up so that it puts in the those seeds like the like the sort of seeds. So it puts them into this thing. They kind of act the same as they do when you throw them into water, but with accelerators. I think I think this is pretty fast. And then we'll just use these item pipes to only extract fully grown ones. So that'll be cool. That'll be cool. And yeah, I had to get some more charged sodas quartz as well. So aside from a bit of tidying up, what are the plans for today? I think we need to sort out our emmy controller situation we want a few more of these we want to start making the big thick cables so we can make better use of our channels um hence why we now have sheep over here uh we're probably gonna need some wool so i might even set up maybe some better automation i think i saw striker was using a rancher and uh this doesn't look bad I think we've made, yeah, that won't be hard to make at all. Uh, running power over there is going to be a little bit, yeah, a little bit not great because I don't want the sheep in the base because I make too much noise. Hmm. Now I've already set the recipe up for this, but I was short of a few things. So if we were to ask for four of these, not a problem. Yeah, it was these I was short of. Cool. Um, I'm assuming something's happening. Actually, it may have been so fast that, yeah, we missed it. We missed it. Cool. Uh, so we grab our controllers. Neat. We also want to be able to get some of those cables. Uh, these ones now. Can we get a stack? It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. We'd be missing a bunch of glowstone. And a bunch of flux crystals. Okay, let's be more reasonable then. Half a stack. We're missing a little bit of glowstone. Yeah, I did have to go mine some, hence the nether portal. Oh. Uh, but there might be ways we can get glowstone. I think we can sieve it. We can find pervaded netherrack. Interesting. We could get into Batania and turn redstone into glowstone. It's an option. We could do that. We don't really need to do that. We could sift. 6% chance. I don't really want to stand there sifting. I'm assuming you can automate that somehow. Uh, industrial centrifuge. Glowberries. Interesting. Huh. And some glowstone mining later. We can get some of these big cables. Now, hopefully. 32 is going to last a while. Hopefully. Looks like it's actually taken a little bit to craft that. Stuff happening? Stuff happening? Oh yeah, some stuff's happening. Cool. 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 So where do we want to set up this applied energistics system? Because it's in some ways it's kind of the heart of your base and you want it in the center. But then you also want like your power kind of in the center. Yeah. Well, we know we definitely don't want it here. This is not a great setup. All right. So it's better, 
Not good, but better. I tried to kind of keep this connected the way it was, but we've got kind of this, I think I'm gonna go for like a square, maybe a cube. A cube could look kind of cool. We don't want to be having this long term. Although solar is probably quite nice. You know, if we're relying on steam power, um, we could get into the situation where we run out of fuel and all of our fuel is in here and then we can't get it out. And then, yeah, <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Wouldn't be able to access our items. But having solar could be a good backup. Um, I did, I did discover one solar panel was not enough to run this at all. Which is cool, which is cool. So we're, we're back to where we were. Uh, what next? I did want to set this up. I did want to set up the crystal growth chamber. I'm not quite sure where that should live. It's kind of a machine. But we're really only likely to want one. So perhaps that could go there. Can you accept power from that? Device offline. Now, is it offline because it has nothing in it? Or did that say online? It still says offline. Um, we might need to look into <laughs> wireless access to this as well. So if we got some sort of scorched dust and hopefully got some sand now. Uh, let's just test it. Is this is this working? Um, and I should, you know, build a, a walkway over here. Oh, that worked, that totally works. Cool. Sweet. So we can do things that way. So we check in this processing pattern that makes the service courts. Uh, hopefully we've got the stuff in our system for trying this. Come along over here and temporary, temporary, all still very temporary. We should be able to ask for, let's say 11 of these. We're missing 11 sort of course seeds. And I need more patterns. Okay. Oh, we're out of, <laughs> out of sort of course again. Dude. Or genuinely, ah, oh. there we go. Let's, let's try that again. Oh, we need the patterns. All right. Still a little bit low on resources. Okay. Let's like three, get two, two. Nice. Cool. And so we want this to be a pattern we know about. Uh, that's going to live. One of these has a free space. I need to make the pattern access terminal. There it is. Yeah, definitely once we get like two of these, it's gonna be hard to maintain or hard to figure out where I've got gaps. So if we crafted 10 of these, we'll push go. Now I'm not expecting this to succeed. I'm expecting 10 seeds to go in here. Cool. And then how do we get them out? And can we just pipe from this machine straight back into the pattern provider? Now it could look kind of messy, but if we're never manually using this machine, and oh, this was a thing I discovered um, watching Striker's videos. Uh, if you shift right click, uh, when you're holding the pipe, it connects it. You don't have to get the wrench out and get on the other side of it which is a real pain. So we'll let some of these finish up. Well, at least one of these finish up. I mean, it's not super fast, but you could fill this full of these. Oh. Oh, that just works. Cause this is, okay, we just don't even need this. Neat. It didn't end up somewhere else. Cool. We might be able to do that for all of our machines, actually. That's really cool. Okay, okay, okay. If we were to have a look in here. 11, I did request 11. Nice. I think that worked. Now, we might be able to do that with the polarizer as well. With that. 
Now, I haven't played around with this, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. But if we were to get a steel rod, uh, like one of these, my understanding is that this machine will be using power. Oh, it'll be this thing. Uh, my understanding is this machine will magnetize it. And I don't know if this means the item will get extracted. So now the item is in there. Right, so it doesn't auto extract, but can we? Now this isn't quite going to work. So you insert. You extract. Can't really put that back in there. Let's... Do I have a hopper or a chest or something? I mean, let's get another one. Mm, oh, yes, it did. It totally worked. Cool. Cool. And I just realized, because we're using uh, modern industrialization pipes, we can, we can do that. And I mean, it looks like my wiring a little bit, but it's still cool that it does that. So we'll say you, yeah, you do the extracty thing. But all right, let's look at where we're heading to next. So there's still some things we haven't made. We never made a packer or an unpacker. I don't, there might be things we need to use these for in the future, but I haven't needed them yet. Like our auto crafting seems to handle all of that. Still might be handy, still might be handy. So we could carry on and start making the electric blast furnace. That is a possibility. And that's going to move us towards electronic circuitry somehow. And then that's going to move us to the electric quarry, which is pretty, pretty exciting. And that's when we get the, the new drills. Uh, but I want to make an assembler. The assembler allows you to automate almost all recipes. Cool. I want to make some assemblers. There's going to be some parts we haven't made. We're going to want to automate our rubber production. Um, the rest of that isn't too bad. Robot arms. I mean, it's a lot of circuits. We're going to have to make sure we've got that nicely automated. Let's start with it. Now, the reason we want to use these, uh, they make certain recipes a lot cheaper. I oh, like we can make rails. That's not really what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is, huh. I don't think I'd ever want to automate crafting steam quarries, but cool. These definitely, but not for a long time. Uh, gears. Obviously not titanium gears, but the normal recipe for these requires bolts. If you use an assembler, instead you want soldering alloy, which we can get from soldering alloy dust, which has to happen in a blast furnace. Okay, and soldering alloy dust is tin and lead. So we'll set up a little bit of automation for keeping solder in stock. Cool. <laughs> so I tested this. It, it should work. It should work. Let's just double check. But if we... Oh, we kind of need to go to up. All right, all right, all right. I did test this and it did work. Uh, it's gonna. There's going to be a little bit of loss, but... This should enable us to keep some sugarcane uh, available as we need it. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, uh, but this will work. This will work, and at least it's not made of dirt. At least it's not made of dirt. Yeah. <laughs> We're short on paper, and maybe rubber for making that assembler. Let's go for one assembler. We'll push go on that guy. Things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. Uh, and it's going to take... Yeah, who knows? I think it's going to take a while. I think the compressor... Yeah, we're, we're running into issues where this is being made in the compressor. This is being made in the compressor. So is this and so is this. We need more compressors. It's time to do our first... Actual bit of factory improvement. Compressor, multiple compressors, kind of like one input for the items that we want to compress. And let's set that up, I guess here somewhere. Let's try it. I want to get 
four compressors because we'll keep that one. So we'll have five in total and that just gives you that center block where you can do stuff. So compressors. Do we want to teach compressors as a recipe? Maybe. Maybe. Now we can just make them straight away as a steel compressor. No, we can't craft them like that. Okay. I mean, we could do this, but we'll just, we'll just do it manually for now. Actually, I think we really wanted electric compressors. Or do steel ones take electricity as well? No, they definitely just take steam. Okay. All right, no, I take that back. <laughs> So now we're probably waiting on that crafting to happen. Yeah, that's going to take a while because it needs plates as well. All right, let's come back when this is finished. And yeah, we're also going to want the steel upgrades. Is this a waste? So I don't think there's a way to turn. You can't turn a steam compressor into an electric one, which makes sense. I just don't think I'll have enough bits and pieces for the electric compressors. Should we be trying that? Am I just making the assumption that we can't make this stuff? But then if we try to, we totally could. It wouldn't be the first time. So if I asked for five of these, now I'm missing some copper, missing some rubber. We're not far off. We are not far off. Can we cancel, cancel those ones? I've decided I don't want them. Let's get an electric compressor. Let's get two electric compressors. Let's get one electric compressor. That should be kind of neat. That's probably gonna take a while though. Cool, an electric compressor. And I think the assembler has finished as well. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why? Why is it an Avengers reference? That's yeah. yes, yes. I get it. I get it. Cool. So this is the plan here. Now I'm hoping this is going to work where we can stack stack these pattern providers uh, for all the compression recipes. Or compressor recipes rather. Then we'll do this, uh, so that will go into here, and it'll have multiple options. You know what, I've probably got enough steam pipes that we can test this out. This is temporary. This is kind of just testing the idea, and cool, steam working, steam working. Uh, so we have steam here, and what I'm hoping is, like these will all just get biffed into this, these will all just get buffed into this. Anything in here will just get buffed into this. And then it goes into whichever compressor is free. And it should make things a lot faster. Uh, if we try and craft, what's something that's going to use a lot of plates? Like another compressor. That would probably do it. Uh, we're short a tiny bit of rubber. Cool. So here we are, we're going to construct an electric compressor. Now these go on the compressor, these go on compressors. That doesn't, these do, those do, those do. So there's a whole bunch of, and then there's a whole bunch of different stuff that needs to go through our compressors. And that should really, really speed up the process. I'm hoping that this really speeds up the process. I mean, it's gonna be way faster because we've got this thing. Why? Why would it? Why would it start raining right now? Uh, so yeah, he's running away. He's sitting there running away. He's going all right. Actually, I don't have anything in there. Oh, because some of the stuff's got to come back through actually, so that makes sense. Yeah. But compared to the single compressor, that should be at least three times as fast, and it's faster because the electric compressor is way quicker than uh, the steam ones. But cool. So that's the plan for a lot of these machines. So we're gonna have five compressors. Uh, when we do a craft, they'll probably all start running, which is gonna draw a bit of power, which might be a problem, but it should make our crafts 
way, way faster. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of how it looks. Maybe we hide this underground. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's why we're building the factory first, and then we'll build the structure around it. Once things are a little bit more settled. Um, but neat. Now it's wires and stuff we're waiting on. Yeah. Yeah, wires are going to have to get the same treatment, I think. Definitely. And cutting machine. Yes, it's so noisy. Cool. <laughs> so we've got two electric compressors. I'm crafting another couple. Which means we've got all sorts of things happening. Yeah, so the overclocking stuff's interesting. From my understanding, if we chuck this in here... It's overclocked by four. I think maybe once the efficiency gets up to 64. Look, yeah, now he's doing 4.5. So his consumption of power has gone up, but he's going to be going a little bit faster. That is interesting. And now he's going even faster. That's actually kind of cool. It means if you've got crafts that are taking a long time, uh, and they're going to start going faster and faster. Cool, how's all this holding up? So you're making power, you're all good. I haven't checked my fuel for a while. It seems like it's not really using heaps. That's really cool. And this single water pump is working fine. Oh. Neat. Neat. Yep. I think we're on to a winner. I think this parallelizing of uh, processing is going to help with a lot of future crafts. Oh, this guy's running as well. He's doing that same overclocking thing. And with a little bit more off-camera crafting, we have five electric compressors, which is going to speed up a lot of our auto crafting, which is fantastic news. Fantastic news. Okay, uh, factory's starting to come along. Still pretty rough, pretty rough, uh, but it is kind of cool living in a mushroom island. It's nice. It's different. It's different. But anyway, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time and get into some more All of Fabric 5 where maybe the factory will start to look even better. And I won't have a coke oven hiding underneath the floor. Mmm. Mmm. See ya.